Sriracha Cha. Sriracha Cha. Sriracha Cha. And now, it's your Sriracha Cha review. Hey guys, so my name is Billy. Uh, I just want to let you guys know uh, I'm starting this channel for reviews on random products. Uh, today, uh, I have Shin Black. So this is actually a Nong Shim brand. Um, has a good noodle, good broth. Uh, the black one is actually the spicy one. And so I figured we'd start this channel off with a spicy noodle review. So let's get cooking. All right guys, so while the ramen is cooking, I just wanted to kind of let you know what all comes in this. Um, like I said, this is the Nong Shin, uh, the Shin Black. It's uh, made by Nong Shim. Uh, this is made in America. Uh, it is actually considered a premium ramen. Uh, it's I have never had this one. I've had the original Shin. It's actually really good. It's uh, one of my favorites. Uh, now, this one actually comes with three different packets. It comes with the regular soup base, which is just the black soup base. Uh, it's a little bit spicy flavor. Then it has the Sul Long Tang soup base, which is a... Uh, a real heavy, heavy garlic uh, soup base. And so as you can see right there, it actually has a little picture of some garlic on it. And then uh, this one also has the vegetable mix packet. So it actually has good slices of veggies in it. It's not just like the veggie packs that you see in some of the other ramens where it's, you know, like, oh, you got a little bit of seaweed in there, some sesame seeds. No, this one has some good slices of mushroom, some green onion, or wild onion. It's going to be really good, guys. So let me go check on it. Uh, I think there's only a couple of minutes left, and I'm going to pause it, and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, I am back. I've got the ramen cooked, and it's prepared. So let's take a look at it. So as you can see, it is a redder broth. Um, you've got the mushrooms here. Um, you've got some green onions. It's going to be some really good noodles, some premium noodles. Uh, so, guys, let's take a, uh, a bite of this. So you can definitely taste the mushrooms and the garlic. There is a little bit of a spice, not a ton. Uh, it's enough though. It's a good amount. Uh, if you like spice, you'll you may actually if you like spice a lot, you may actually need to add some. Uh, for me though, uh, if I'm just looking for a normal bowl of soup, this is gonna do me. Now let's try the broth. That's really good. You know, guys, there are some soups that are better for a winter day or a cold day. Rainy day right now, it's actually raining outside at my house. Uh, just wanna let you guys know, uh, I'm going to be doing some more reviews. I'm also gonna be adding more comments about these. Um, this one, honestly guys, it's worth trying. Um, if you don't like the spice, do the regular. Uh, it has tons of flavor still. Now, my go-to ramens are typically gonna be spicy. I like spice. The spice life is me. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of sriracha, hence the channel name. Uh, I do a lot of other uh, types of spices. Uh, I plan on eventually doing more reviews outside of the instant ramen or udon or any of those type of noodles. Uh, now, I will say as for this one, uh, taste, I definitely give it a 7 it's a good, strong taste. It's uh, definitely worth the money. The noodles, you actually have a choice to cook them for four minutes. Uh, at four minutes, you're going to have more al dente. At four and a half, you're going to have the medium. And then at five minutes, you're going to have the done. I typically go for a little bit more chewy noodle. Uh, that's just because I like to be able to feel like I am chewing whenever I'm eating ramen noodles. I don't like the noodles to just fall apart in my mouth. A lot of the cheaper instant ramen brands, you have to be careful because if you slightly overcook them, the noodles are just gone. Good news is on this one, it's actually worth uh, looking at the directions. Following them, you'll see that it is worth doing 
a little bit more of an al dente. Um, I do kind of about four, four minutes, 15 seconds, just long enough to where the noodles are cooked because I know they're going to be sitting in a hot broth. So uh, if you guys have any comments, feel free to put them on here. Share this video, like it, comment, please subscribe, and catch me next time on the Sriracha Cha Reviews. Thank you and have a wonderful day.